Hi everybody, I hope this video finds you all healthy and safe. Thanks for tuning into this video. My name is Eric Menk. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to talk about half court offensive execution. And the example we're going to use today is Serbia. We're going to take a look at their team in the 2019 FIBA World Cup. It just concluded last fall in September. Going into the FIBA World Cup, Serbia was one of the favorites to maybe win the gold. Unfortunately for them, it didn't pan out quite the way they wanted, but they did have some big wins, and one of them was against the United States, and that's the game that we're going to look at. We're going to look at how they were able to have such an efficient offense and how they were able to beat the United States, even though the United States has a very good defensive team, but Serbia was able to carve that up. We're going to take a closer look at that and see how exactly they did it right here. So let's dive into the video and take a look at how Serbia is such an efficient team in the half court. Off the rebound, Serbia pushes it up. Bogdanovic. He's going to throw it in the post here and use a handoff. This is a very effective technique. Besides an alternative to, to a ball screen is a dribble handoff. Uh, the natural tendency of a defender when guarding the ball is when the player passes to relax. Bogdanovic sets, sets him up, turns around his defender, and that's a wide open three for the best shooter on the floor. Set up very nicely using a pass and handoff. Again, off the rebound, Bogdanovic pushes it up. They're looking inside to the post here. Good work by the big guy, but when he catches it, he is patient. And ball screen, again on the one side, nothing is there. They get kind of jammed up here. Bogdanovic again uses the handoff. Wide open three, best shooter on the floor. Miles Turner isn't quite high enough. I think that Donovan Mitchell gets caught up in the screen, and that's a great look for a great shooter. A defensive mistake, a defensive lapse. Wide open three. Wing entry, reverse, reverse. Bogdanovich catches it again, right into a ball screen. Look at these guys work. You can see now there's three seconds on the shot clock. I believe this is Danny Green is out of position. They've made the United States work. Open three as the shot clock expires. Wing entry into a reverse, reverse. Now up to top ball screen, wide open, pull up 15 footer. Miles Turner doesn't help enough. Guard gets caught up on the screen. I think this is Mitchell. Wide open, wide open shot. And all three of these first possessions have been off of defensive mistakes. If you score off the of defensive mistakes, your percentage is going to be high. Reverse into a ball screen. They run a little weave action. Attack off the dribble. Good fake. Pass. Watch how they make the U.S. scramble here. The United States is chasing this whole time. This is the shot they get. It is a bit of a contest. 15-footer with three seconds on the shot clock. But even though he misses here, you can see any team including the United States, they don't want to play a defense like that for the whole game. And if you make them play that type of defense for the whole game and make them work for the duration of the shot clock, they will break down, they will tire, they will fatigue physically, but more so even mentally. Simple down screen, get it to the wing, into a ball screen, into another ball screen. You notice these two guys over here will exchange, which will keep them busy. These Mitchell, with his back turned, isn't going to be able to check Jokic on his roll. As a result, uncontested floater, 
for an all NBA type player money. We're, we're in the fourth quarter now of a close game, nine minutes left. Run a little weave action, nothing there. US plays pretty good defense. You'll notice uh, Boban's in the game here. When Boban sets the screen, you'll notice when he sets the ball screen, he releases with no contact. He releases early, but he still gets the guy open. Defense kind of confuses the big guy. What should he do? There isn't a screen. Do I help on the ball or do I stay with him? They attack. Great. Bulban buries his guy. Great triple threat. Great pass. That's a guy who's seven foot forever below the dotted in the restricted area. Score. I love that movement. Screen, roll, dive, turn and seal. Pass has to be crisp, and it was. Six minutes left in the game, fourth quarter. Wing entry into a reverse, reverse. This is the type of action they've been running with usually a double down, and these guys are all making reads here. But because they've been doing it the whole game and they've been uh, switching it up, wide open three-point shot for an NBA type player, money. Five minutes left in the game, nine point game. Take a look at Boban's early release. Doesn't really, this isn't even really a screen, releases. But that's enough to confuse the defense. Big man can't help now. Guard was expecting a screen. There isn't one. Wide open, uncontested, pull up 15 footer. This is end out of bounds, baseline out of bounds. Attack, kick, attack along closeout. Kick, wide open. Even though he misses, very high percentage shot head. The United States chasing them the whole time. Again, they've been running this action while Jokic is up here. Bogdanovich is down here. This is where you want to be watching. They've been running down screens the whole time. But Bogdanovich makes a nice read. Kemba gets caught on the high side. Big guy doesn't help quite enough. Great read by Bogdanovich. Wide open layup, two and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. You can see they're getting very easy shots late in the fourth quarter of a competitive game. Mistake here, this ball screen is pretty high up. Middleton does the right thing to go under, but he doesn't use the right angle. Overcrowds Bogdanovich. He takes advantage of it. Layup. Two minutes left in the game, eight point game forcing the United States into defensive mistakes and they're capitalizing on them. It's a very easy shot in a half court set getting late in the game. Serbia went on to win. A couple of things to take note of here. Serbia scored 94 points against the United States. They shot 52%, 56 from two, 48 from three. You cannot shoot that type of percentage on contested shots for 40 minutes. Another thing to take note of, look at the total field goals of Serbia, 33, 33 field goals. And why that is important is the next stat you'll see is the assists. They had 26 assists on 33 field goal makes, which is why they won and why they are considered offensively efficient team in an international competition. There you have it, you saw it right there. Serbia, who's a global powerhouse in FIBA international competition, showed you exactly why they are known as a very skilled team, a smart team, and a team that is disciplined, that executes their half-court offense. And they were able to do that against a very athletic, a pretty good defensive team in the United States, who happens to also be the world number one. A couple of things you may have noticed is a lot of their plays were real simple. There weren't a tremendously a lot of athletic plays or some great individual plays. They were played unselfish, they moved the ball, they worked the shot clock, and they hunted uncontested quality shots, and they pushed to score off of defensive mistakes. 
if you if you run an offense that puts the defense in bad spots and force them into multiple opportunities to make a mistake and you're able to score off some of those mistakes your field goal percentage is going to be higher you're going to be more efficient which gives you a better chance of winning and serbia did a very good job of using the shot clock moving the ball playing unselfishly and of course they have good size and they have some very good shooters who are capable of making shots and that's why serbia is so good when they're if they go talent for talent versus the usa who's going to win that most of the time the united states and they do win a lot but the way serbia is able to compete is they're going to make you play defense they're going to execute they're going to wear you down they're going to force you into mistakes and they're going to capitalize on it. this is something that i'm very passionate about and i love sharing with you guys and if you like this video i like to ask you to hit the thumbs up like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel i like to ask you to do so and please hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i do upload a video if you'd like to see more of this content i'm going to leave up a couple of videos talking about efficient team basketball offense they'll be over here when the video is done everybody out there we're still going through this pandemic we're still quarantined so please stay safe be happy and be healthy i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching